All right, so we already went over the Toelink support kit or TLS from Shock Therapy that you can get on utvsource.com. We did the install for you to show you how easy it is, how soft the hubs are, and why you need this kit, right? So since we're talking about hubs and we've got them apart, this is the front hub off of Can-Am X3 RS. Uh, when you're driving your Can-Am and you're driving hard, do you guys feel like your, your forearms are getting sore, you're, you're having to death grip the steering wheel, going through whoops or turns like it wants to yank out on you? Well, there's a reason. And that's because the OEM factory Can-Ams come with four inches of bump steer. Four inches of bump steer. That's insane. So you're having a death grip, your car, you're, you're not able to drive your car with complete confidence. You're taking a turn, it's got some bumps, the steering wheel's just, and you're sore. I get sore, I was sore. Um, I installed the bump steer delete kit. Again, you can get it at utvsource.com. This is it. That's all it is. May not look like much, but I'll show you. Let me get my razor. So, the factory cars with the factory steering rods, or tie rods, side-by-sides, some of you guys, the steering rod set dead center. So the misalignment spacer is evenly spaced from the top to the bottom. That creates four inches of bump steer. When your car is cycling up and down, it's pulling the tires in and out. So when you're hitting bumps and you're having a death grip, it's because it's doing this through the, the range of motion while it's cycling its suspension. So what shock therapy has done is pretty simple. Is it lowers the tie rod angle. It brings it down. It takes it out of center. So your factory stuff's dead center. You're going to this now. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to hold it all up. It's hard to not lose little parts. <laughs> it's hard. So what it does, guys, is it brings that tie rod down to this angle. So when you're cycling through the range of motion, your hub isn't getting pulled left to right. This little ingenious part is just a misalignment spacer. That's all it is. Nothing crazy. What it does is it takes four inches of bump steer out of the car. It leaves you with only three eighths of bump steer, according to shock therapy. Now, I don't know how to prove that statement's true or false, but what I can say is when I put it on my car, I went from white knuckling, driving through whoops at speed and turning, being fatigued and tired, uh, to fingers on the steering wheel, hauling ass through the whoops and hauling ass into turns. It was no longer wanting to rip the steering wheel out of my hands. So, it's pretty rad. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so it's pretty rad, right? Um, this little kit is probably one of the least expensive things you can buy for your Can Am X3. And it's probably maybe one of the best things you can do for the value or the price. I don't like to drive tired. I had my car stock for two days. And then I took it in and had everything done to my car. Because I, I, I knew it could be a lot better. And one of my biggest complaints was the bump steer in the car. And a lot of people will attest to that in these can -Ams. It's horrendous. So, that little kit, bump steer delete kit, it's like waving fairy dust on your car. It just changes the whole experience.